Jacob, this is Evan, we're from Turquoise LLC, and we're going to talk to you about how our company can help you guys manage stressful conversations in your workplace. Stressful conversations. Now, there's no cookie cutter way uh, to approach these situations, but they're also unavoidable, both in your home life and in work. So, we came up with some basics on how your company can better handle these conversations. When delivering this information, understand it's difficult for both parties. And we've we got to avoid uh, emotional escalation of these issues. So using the gambit, honor thy partner. On, uh, understand your uh, responsibility in the matter and in the conflicts. It's important that you understand your role in it so you can better make that middle ground. Secondly, uh, don't thrust your employees into these difficult conversations. When often thrown into a conversation that they're not ready for, you can take them off guard, escalating their emotions, and moving away from that middle ground that we're trying to move towards. By uh, better understanding and educating yourself on what needs to happen, you guys can uh, form that middle ground better. And uh, lastly, belittling. Sometimes, especially in, like, in the hierarchy of business, someone might try to belittle you or bring you, bring you down. So it's, under, it's, be, it's good to understand your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses before entering into those conversations. So you can understand how you're gonna react, how the other person's gonna react, and that way uh, you can have a good conversation without escalating your emotions. Now, preparing for and mitigating stress in conversations is vital in the workplace. When you're preparing for stressful conversations, you need to understand your own vulnerabilities as well as your own weaknesses to specific situations or people. By understanding these vulnerabilities, when you're thrust into a situation, you will be able to clearly and precisely prevent, prevent Sorry. your ideas on the situation. Uh, one way to prepare for a stressful conversation that you know you are going to have to have is to find a non-biased friend or colleague and get their opinion on the matter. If you do this, you can through the talking process, find phrases that clearly and concisely convey your message, and you can practice non-threatening body language, such as how I am now. And this, getting your information across without seeming too stressed and preventing stress on the other's behalf. How can stress management help you? Acknowledging responsibility for your actions in the issues helps you out whether you're an executive, manager, or employee. Taking responsibility for your actions builds better business practices, is ethical, and allows you to build stronger relationships with your partners. By taking this responsibility, it also uh, verifies your uh, uh, your talking points, and it makes it better, uh, allows the person to understand you better. Uh, using the clarification method, by using this method, you can say that it was a misunderstanding of some sort, whether it's time or a miscommunic miscommunicated email, allowing you to dive into greater detail and gives you the green light to really open up to that person. Um, lastly, um, addressing behaviors. Behaviors and unwanted actions in the workplace can often be unavoidable. So it's important to uh, address these issues early on and create this middle ground so that way later on you can address these similar topics later and build these foundations and relationships internally within your company. Now you might be wondering, how have other businesses benefited from stress management? Well, there are hundreds of businesses worldwide who have seen the benefits of creating a healthier and less stressful situations in the workplace. When we do this, we see the companies have had benefited employee happiness, loyalty, greater production within the day, and they have greater financial gains. Um, one company that's a perfect example of this is the Triple S Foundation down in Puerto Rico. This company has managed to save roughly 2.6 million won in lost productivity through investing in health benefits, uh, different um, relationship costs, giving employees work-life balance, and providing a employee recognition. And a survey said that individuals who have tested have seen that they have had a beneficial and truly rewarding work experience with the company. Okay, that's five minutes. Yeah. I'll give you a 
10 seconds more or are we into questions? Uh, we can go into questions. Okay. Um, as the chairman of a multinational corporation, I really appreciate um, you helping me understand this, um, and it makes a lot of sense to me. A question I would have is um, you're taking a very American approach to this, or even, let's say, a Western approach. How do you think that would um, differ um, for us? Is there anything we'd have to change um, in these ideas to be able to present it to uh, a Chinese culture? Well, I think, of course, you'll have subtle differences in how actually people talk to each other and communicate. With us, how we're presenting to you today, we're using definitely a more westernized approach, using specific words and such as attacks the conversation when they suddenly surprise you. Those aren't really phrases you would have in your company, per se. We would have to change subtle differences, but overall, the networking would be the same. Okay. Um, this one is a question that's a bit of a fastball, so um, hang in there. Um, the chairman of the um, leader of the um, Chinese Communist Party and I are going to have a meeting with President Trump because we're furious about his um, tariffs on most of the things our company makes. What would be your suggestion how I should handle that? Uh, first, what we recommend is understand how Trump's going to react. Uh, his, understand his emotions, body language, and how he might escalate the situation. Uh, understand that, yes, he is the President of the United States, and that he could belittle you in some way. So understand where your company might be vulnerable, where you might be vulnerable, and understand how you and uh, the leader of the Communist Party yeah, um, react together and how you guys are going to work together to manage these conversations, but also trying to disarm the situation. Yes, it's hurting your company, but understand that you're both trying to gain something out of it and really try to work towards that middle ground. Great. 